<laughs> I can't believe, right? We've got three, we've got four Brits and a German on, and the Yanks are fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> They're doing a lot of that recently. <laughs> yeah, uh, clearly <laughs> you haven't been watching the news. Civil War. That's our main export. Who's, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'm not even going to start down who's Republican, who's Democrat. Let me move on. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the big show. Yes, we're here to cause unrest in the tech world and uh, uh, and take the piss out of everyone who's done anything meaningful that we can just throw stones at because um, we do nothing. We know nothing. We are here as ballast for good podcasts. Um, uh, joining me <laughs> to discuss <laughs> the week in tech. What, look at the panel I've got. I've got six people here. Look at that. It means I've got to do a cool thing because I was going to do the same one as I did last week <laughs> and the week before. God, I can't believe I did that. I edited it out. Did you notice? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't listen back. I don't listen to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you and we have better things to do with our time oh, God, than listen no to, to this shit. Uh, top left, joining us from his kitchen, which is a bit random. Why are you out of the spare bedroom, mate? Is she throwing you out? Carrie Holtzman. No, I'm. Uh, I, I like my kitchen. It's bright. It's. Uh, you, you can see the time. The lighting's beautiful. Yeah, no, it's good. It, yeah, it and, beats and Leo's big, bookshelf. Big, the big island counter is perfect for uh, scattering my stuff about. Yeah. Yeah, no, I expect. Something. And if you want a snack, you know, if you're feeling a bit peckish. Well, I was going to say, mate, why don't you rustle us something up while it's not your yeah. story and turn and stuff, and you can just. What would you like? Uh, we'll start with I can sh- boil something. You're British, so I can boil whatever you like. Oh, I you have a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. Oh, that's Irish. Boiled potatoes. Oh, what were you talking about last night? Uh, boiled potatoes. No, my dad used to do flowery boiled potatoes, and I used to heave trying to eat them. We and cream. my parents would be going, eat them. Eat, eat them. them. <laughs> you're not moving from this table till that plate's clean. Yeah, no, just eat the meat <laughs> yeah. as well. That's the other one. Oh, my God. And Two- cabbage. Two two parents who were brought up during rationing during the war. That was bad news. Oh, yeah. I'm fat because I eat everything and more. Um, good to have you back, mate. We haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up well, to? Well, thanks for having me. Just uh, just working, keeping busy, staying out of trouble, making more videos. Good man. Thank you very much yeah. for your uh, for your compliment about the caricature as well on the on that video. But all that was the coolest thing ever. It is, isn't is it? the caricature of me with the leaf blower is. The most awesome thing ever. <laughs> oh, go on, show us. Uh, yeah, well, I'll find it out in a minute. I've got it on the on the computer here, but um, but yeah, we'll put it up in a second. We can replace Gary with his character. <laughs> <laughs> that looks much better than me. I like it. <laughs> you're in a you're in a Star Wars thing as well. Aren't you? You're like a Obi Wan suit or something like that. Or no, no, okay, I can't remember. Maybe oh, not. maybe maybe like a Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, next name is Jeff Ray. Hey, hey, I, I, I don't have any uh, leaf blower with me today. Sorry. No, I have a few extras. Oh, great! I need to borrow one. Apparently, a few leaf blowers. You, are you, if you two are going to be sitting and be bitchy with each other the whole friggin' show, I don't think we've we've bitched yet. As a matter of fact, I think the sexual tension in this room There's is angst. getting higher. All the time. <laughs> there is some angst there. Behave, the pair of you. What have you been up to, Jeffrey? <sighs> Just. You know, I've actually just been pining away, waiting for today, so that oh, mate, we could chat again. Love you too. Are you are you are you pining away for an apple keynote in ten days' time or whatever it is? Uh yeah, and I hope it's uh, an exciting event. Yeah. I, I'm I'm going to be in Cupertino for WW. Well, I guess right. San Jose San for Jose, WWDC yeah, yeah. this year. But so, uh, but <laughs> there was that statement sounded like there was a but afterwards. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if my liver will survive the week. Yeah, yeah, you won't, you won't be you won't be uh, uh, awake long enough to know anything that actually happened. Probably, yeah, it's probably true. Tim's reruns. Yeah. True. Oh, yeah. I, I just assumed you, you're implying that I would still be too drunk to be able to uh, pay attention to the keynote. I just, I thought, we, I mean, if you're going to go all the way to San Jose and you can't get in the auditorium, just go to the frigging Chieftain and be done with it. At least the beer will be decent. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have to hop on the BART and and head back down into San Francisco, but not a problem. I know I, I know the route. Good man. Uh, next to him, it's Patrice. Thank you for coming on second time, mate. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I just, I mean, when I saw Carrie, I thought maybe I should start broadcasting from my kitchen as well. 
looks it, good. It, it does kind of work, doesn't it? The lighting yeah. is good. The lighting yeah, is and I mean, good. my kitchen is a, is a full studio set up. I mean, with lights and everything, so I could do that. So why it's do you get armors off with this shit? <laughs> because that's my office, usually. You're coming to the bash, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's another... What, how long is it? A month? First of July. Exactly it's just, a month. just over a month, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be Everything's awesome. booked. I'm ready. Bags are packed, basically. So this man's coming all the way from Koblenz in Germany. And the rest of you are going, oh, I don't know, I live in Lichfield, which is a long way away from Birmingham. Then you <laughs> lightweight, you should be in here. Uh, the British Tech Network exactly. bash. There's a video of 2016 on there on, on YouTube, which you can have a look at. And look at all the fun that we had. We had some monster fun last year. It was oh, absolutely yes. incredible. Uh, and we're going to do the same again this year. It should be unreal. Uh, we've got the same venue. We book the weather, the food is going to be there. It's going to be incredible. Incredible. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, there are people I haven't seen for a year. Like, I mean, Helen, for example, and I'm really looking forward to seeing them again. I don't think she's coming. I think she said she would. All right, okay. Okay, moving on then. Because I'll talk to you about after <laughs> that. Uh, next day, at Camps, you're coming, aren't you? I am. Yeah, bring, ticket, bring ticket, the wee girl. Ticket money should be with you. Um, hotel's booked. That's all right. As long as you come in, as long as I know you're coming, that's all I'm bothered about. I'm, I'm definitely coming. Yeah. Uh, just need to check whether the, the missus and the kids are coming yet. Bring them. Bring them. They'll love it, mate. Show her the video. Oh, Have you oh. shown her the video? Oh, yeah, she's, she's seen the video, yeah. Right, yeah, so yeah. she'll love it then. She's, that's it. It's a family friendly event without a doubt. Absolutely. So, yeah, with a bit of luck, they'll be there. I definitely will. Saying that, I'm going to be on the mic a bit more this year, so it, it'll be family friendly to a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you didn't have a. Oh, I didn't make it last year, but the year before you, you weren't drinking. I didn't drink last year either. Oh, didn't you? No, uh, I never. Maybe you got plenty on your plate during the day, but. Yeah, exactly. I, I never drink during the bash because I've got to drive my car home with all the crap in it. <laughs> the, the first year, they let us leave it there and pick it up the next morning. But actually, to be honest, driving down to pick it up, I was probably over the limit. So I thought this is a bad idea. So I just stay sober now. It's far easier. Fair enough. I'll get yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's, there's plenty, plenty of people that, are, that I've, not met, I've not met Patrice yet uh, in person. So yeah, looking Last forward to year it. was pretty awesome because we went back to my house and we rang at Kismet because everyone was going, oh, we could go and have another Kismet over the road. And I said, why don't we just see if Kismet will deliver? And they, mm. did, they, they won't deliver this year. They told me, that, don't ask me that again because you're not having it. <laughs> But he's willing oh. to make it up for us and put it in a box as long as someone goes over and gets it. So okay. um, uh, we, we stayed and we had the curry in the garden. I bought some lights for the garden, which made the garden look awesome. It yes. was great last night. And we'll do that again this year as well. Yeah. We just Definitely. sat out. And, it was and awesome. People just drifted over to the, the pub when they <laughs> wanted to. Um, some people took the kids back to the pub. Some left them over with us. My two were still up until like 11 30, 12 o'clock in the morning. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cards. And we, we played cards against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was cracking. I enjoyed that. Ellis decided yeah. he wanted to play, and I'm like, oh, okay, go play, play for it, mate. And I thought that most of the cards that come out in Cards Against Humanity are fine, but there's just a couple that you kind of like, how do I expand, explain that to my, my 12 yeah. year old? And of course, Ellis picked those cards out, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. but he oh, knows. I mean, I mean, and if, you're, if you're playing with Muller, then I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Uh, and last but by no means least on the main view screen, Casmas, we haven't seen you in ages, brother. I know. Every time you invited me on, it was uh, at a time when I was either going out, got, I don't want to say this, but I've got to say it, got a better offer. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, oh. I, 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 I eat free food uh, at a, you know, a, a local restaurant. So, yeah, yeah, that was the last time I couldn't come on. But yeah. uh, still about. Uh, busy, busy, busy with a house move, really. We've had to move because I've got work this weekend, so we've had to move it from Friday to, 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 to Thursday. And, uh, yeah, it, it suits me better, up, really. You weren't coming tomorrow because you were invited and you said, no, sod off, I've got a free curry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you see. <laughs> yeah, no. That's what happens. And last but by no means least, the man with the poorest mic technique in the planet, Muller. Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Is this thing on? Uh, he's, I've got to be nice. His Withings watch is still misting up, but he's just bought me dinner, so I'm not going to take the piss too much. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's fading now. It's the self-washing feature, I told Dude, you. This has been the hottest, driest day of the year, and your watch is sweating on the inside. Oh, I'm, I'm and you hot. haven't sent it back? Oh, I'll get round to it eventually. Oh, I would send it back. You've got, uh, you've got straight back. You've got kick me written on your back, mate. I've got another nine months yet. <laughs> it, it's, it's purely because he knows the only alternative is to go to his beta version and he will not do it. I'll wait, I'll wait, you, I'll wait you for the proper one to come out. 
Is Carrie dressed as a waitress? Says the chat room. <laughs> you, you're at Denny's, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> it's not his kitchen. <laughs> it's not his kitchen. There's a big hairy ass trucker in front of him going, Where's my fucking coffee, dude? <laughs> Guys, figured it out. That didn't take long. <laughs> Can I get the check, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Wicked Tech, what's going on? What's been big? What's been happening? Uh, lots of shit's going on oh, around Yahoo at the Ooh. moment. Ooh. Patrice <laughs> is in like Flint. Yeah. To, oh, for once I wanted to be Ghost are rusty. Uh, uh, oh, no. A Tesla truck. Yeah. <clears throat> Tesla. Uh, a couple, I think a couple of weeks ago, um, there was a TED talk with Elon Musk, and I think he had teased it on Twitter, as he usually does. Uh, but apparently in September, Tesla is planning to announce a semi-truck. Um, all we've seen so far, I mean, in typical Tesla way of doing it, things is a, well, I wouldn't even call it a picture. It's a shadow of something that might be an alien or could be a truck. As with <laughs> everything Tesla, it's bollocks. Exactly. <laughs> but it's it's a, it's Apart an interesting it's an interesting idea because... Um, I mean, the, I think the conventional wisdom is that uh, you can't do electric trucks because they need too much power. And Tesla is saying, oh, that's crap. We can do that. Um, and we're actually going to announce one in September. We will probably not ship it for the next 10 years, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that will be $11 billion. Dollars. One. $11 billion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's got a great market though for all of those cities that want to you know stop any car or vehicle that's coming into them with any sort of emissions yeah probably take a month to charge i was gonna say that this, <laughs> this is like every supercharger in the rack and, and, it'll, and it'll still take a week well it's long yeah, it? it's, it's yeah long, i must so admit all of the lights in the city will go out when they're charging them up but. <laughs> It'll well, cross park on the bays, yeah, and Detroit yeah. will brown out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the idea, I think he talked about uh, either on Twitter or in the or somewhere else. He talked about that, and the idea being that basically you would have a, a small compartment of batteries you could you could swap out. So basically, like another small trailer or something in between the the truck. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be an eighty footer. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, with a. <laughs> 40 foot for batteries. Yeah. With a here's, here's the thing, right? The it's a room. cab and it's a wagon that's completely full of batteries that power it. And the bloke, but does it have an insane mode? No, but, a bloke, but, oh, the, yeah. but the bloke inside is carrying one envelope with a data stick in it. <laughs> right. But in it, the it can travel it a long way. Didn't the Milkman use them? <laughs> uh, they were lead acid <laughs> batteries. Oh, were they? All right. Yeah, they were lead acid batteries. <laughs> I want to see this to do not to 16 2.9 seconds. Oh, yes. <laughs> maybe, actually, no, because based on the fact of how fast this won't accelerate, maybe it uses the rotation of the Earth and it just stays still and waits till the Earth <laughs> rotates to its like, destination. Kinetic energy from the Earth. That's brilliant. <laughs> that is a great it's idea. It's an Einsteinian elevator thought experiment type thing. It's a semi truck. Is it too up to down? <laughs> boom, boom. So, yeah, no, it, we just call them LGVs or HGVs over here. Heavy goods vehicles, large goods vehicles. Because a semi is, is, uh, is, is, uh, it's not, it's something, it's, it's it's something else. Be you know, careful. No, no, no. A, a semi is not a proper word for a stop because in English it would be a semi. It SEM, well, yeah. And a semi is, is when your willy's not really full. <laughs> oh, now that's where I thought you were going to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? Um, the, 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 I can, I, I can, I'm going to get a reputation for this. Real world products in real world hands at real world prices. Yes. And I, I can't stand what at the moment there is a proliferation of people going, do you know what? We're going to do this and it's going to be awesome. And you're like, we're going to go round Mars in a semi. And <laughs> to, be, to be fair, though, they've got electric buses in Birmingham and yeah. other cities and yeah. they work, they they, they do, they, uh, are battery and motor at the same time, so they can, yeah. they can charge themselves, and they are uh, I don't know greener. Well, UPS apparently, UPS are running a fleet of trucks, and I've seen the UPS ones around London, and they are they got a decent range. They're forty miles or so, but they can turn right though, can't they? Yeah, right, but right, 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 right. No, but they're forty miles ish to fifty miles, and that's it. Whereas mm. you know, you're talking about a truck, you're talking about hauling two hundred miles, you're talking about hauling Germany to England 
with conveyor yeah. or something like that. And you're talking about heavy loads, and heavy loads are going to yes. absolutely shut your battery use. But he's not saying it's electric only. He's not saying there's not going to be electric mo- uh, uh, no, uh, a, a, te- a motor on it to power the electrics. With Tesla, it I mean it will be electric only. Tesla, de- I does, mean Tesla has no does, experience yeah, whatsoever. Stay here, it will be all electric. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if, if Elon's watching, which I know he cold. does. <laughs> I think Elon. I think Elon's just trying to make sure he gets a mention on this show every year. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yes. exactly. That's probably it. We wish you all the luck, mate. We think you're a real yeah. dude. We love you to bits. If you want come to, to the bash, bit, Elon. If you want to chuck a bit of cash our way, it's fine. We'll take it. But I'm sorry. You you just made, there's an awful lot of stuff that's like here it comes. Yeah, right. No, okay. But I'm sorry. Show something. He hasn't sent a yeah. program Mars yet, and he's talking about sending people. That's not happening. <laughs> mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, to to Muller's point, here in Frankfurt, there is also a fully electric uh, bus. Doesn't have a motor whatsoever. Um, I don't know how. I mean, what the range is, but it's it's fully electric and it's in in daily use. So uh, it, it is possible. I just don't not. I wasn't sure. I, I mean, with as you said, with Tesla, you never know. They they might do it. I mean, they have delivered on quite a lot of their promises, but at the same time, they've also delivered not delivered on quite some promises. I mean, like the the Model Three. I mean, so far, still not here. I'm still sorry, waiting. Mate. I'm sorry, but this is to, to to a certain degree, this is still Dutch Mountain Rescue for me. Yeah, hmm. it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Camps is uh, Camps was itching, mate. Oh. You, were, you complained mm-hmm. about Patrice getting in, and now you're in. Before he just got the tone, <laughs> the inflection of my voice was like you was getting fed up. He's yeah. Moving on. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that that was going to be my story but then I changed my mind at the last Well we kind of uh, did cover this a little bit on the Mac show because it was too good to not take the piss out of the Apple Watch and watch all the Backboy fanboys go screaming but go ahead <laughs> So uh, this, this, is a, this is an article from The Guardian, it, it's covered in, in lots of the different tech bloggers at the moment the um, research paper by, by Stanford um, has um, is, is basically saying that the, a lot of the fitness trackers are doing pretty well in terms of heart rate sensors but in terms of measuring calories, they're pretty much all suck. Is is, is what the is what the research Not paper is, is, they is all saying. Suck across the board. Yeah, for so calorie the, the, tracking. But they did, they did, a, they did a some research uh, based with the Apple Watch, the Basis Peak, Fitbit Surge, Microsoft Band, the Mio devices, the Pulse on, the Gear Two, uh, the Gear S Two, um, and. Um, what what they're essentially saying is that the algorithms in use to measure um, energy usage and, and therefore um, cal- calories burned, active or, um, or or total calories burned, is not accurate right the way across the board, and they vary tremendously. Uh, I think yeah. they were saying that the best from a from a calorific value was about twenty three percent out, and the worst performance was a, was ninety two point six percent out. What? Was it twenty three percent or 27%? twenty seven percent? Sorry, twenty seven percent, Jeff. Uh, for the so the Fitbit surge came in at the uh, with the lowest um, error, and um, the pulse on device was ninety two point six percent out in terms well, of just, um, just, energy expenditure. That's pointless. Yeah, <laughs> it's Absolutely. pointless. Well, it's even if you're at twenty seven percent accuracy error, it's still pointless. It's mm-hmm. well at, mm-hmm. at the. My takeaway from from that part of the study is don't use your fitness tracker regardless of, track of who made it for calorie tracking. It's, mm. yeah. it's worthless for so, that. So, so where, where I was going to come in with this one, obviously, the, 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 um, the research paper's got, got some really, really key points in there. Uh, and, and I was thinking, so pe- people are buying what was essentially a consumer device. Are people really relying on this, really, truly relying on this to... Um, as it says in the in one of the articles, make life choices um, in in terms of the their, their calorie intake because because there's, fundamentally there's so many different values. I I as we've talked about over the last couple of weeks, um, I'm on a bit of a mission this year to to, to get fit, healthy, uh, lose a bit of weight again, doing 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 running, um, and and I've found um, I've been using various different running apps. I'm finding the heart rate sensor across them whether. A, um, obviously, it's drawing it off from the watch, but the way it's reporting it in the in the apps is is pretty similar across the all um, in terms of um, the GPS tracking. Um, I'm, I'm finding that pretty good, but I am finding differences um, in terms of the uh, in terms of the cal- calorie burn. So, to but give everyone no, a bit of background, um, Camps posted a run in the Slack room, 
Yep. Okay, and he put Last down. Week. I've just had a run, 10k. Here it is, Badoom. And then um, uh, Mark from Hoya, uh, who's in there as well, posted up a thing and said, "I've just done a run. Here's my 10k, Badoom." And they were they were far enough apart that you wouldn't have noticed unless you went back. And then I went, "Hang on," <laughs> and a few other people went, "Hang on." Um, mm. and, and here's the two runs. Um, so uh, uh, Mark's is the one on the left, and Camps is the one on the right. In a 10k oh. run. Camps burned 1,216 calories, a total calorie calorific expenditure, active calories, a total calorific expenditure of 1,332 calories. Mark burned 553 active calories, a total of 628. Mark did 0.16 kilometres further. His elevation change was probably roughly the same, and his max heart rate was a bit less because I think he'd it'd be fair to say, Camps, I'm not taking the piss, he's a slight bit mm-hmm. fitter than you, maybe. Oh yeah, uh, no, yeah. He's, he's, he's smaller than I am. Is yeah. is fitter than I am. Yeah. So, uh-huh. but the, the, there's there's a lot of comparisons there. Mark is is he's a midget in comparison to Camps, but he's not um, 700 calories away. No. Not, the, half, not half of it, basically. Yeah, no. And the other separator oh, wow. that you've got is the fact that Camps is running a a, a two version watch, Apple Watch, and yeah. um, I, I can back up Mark here because mine is bollocks. He's using the Series Zero. <laughs> he's using the, he's using the, the Alpha, yeah. The Alpha yeah. and the Beta. The, I mean, I mean, regarding Cam's question whether people use this for life choice, I think they do. I mean, a, a lot of people still count calories and decide whether they can eat the ice cream based on their calorie count for the day. So I think, uh, yeah, people are making life choices. Myself, I mean. Um, to a certain degree, yes, but not on the calories. I mean, it basically just triggers for me. I mean, do I go for another walk or do I feel like going for another walk or not? That's that's the my amount of life choices that it that that the calorie counts that does for me. Uh, but that's more that that has nothing to do with the calories, and it's more um, to because I want to get. I mean, get some walking in and go out and, and, and enjoy the time. And this is the measurement I use to, to see. I mean, have I been in the office all day, basically, uh, sitting sitting or standing around all day? Or, uh, I mean, have I been moving around? And maybe I should go out and just enjoy myself a little bit. Yeah. So, the, so the way I've been doing it, Patrice, um, I, I've lost about two, two and a half stone now um, this year. And the way, the way that I've done it, I've been using um, my fitness pal to, to track calorie mm-hmm. intake. Um, and, and even even that, there's an element of guesswork in there because not every single thing that you eat is is in their database, um, and there's a bit of um, estimation in terms of portion size. I certainly don't go weigh, weigh in every single thing that I eat out, um, <laughs> and and I and I had a look and think right, this is the amount of calorie intake that I should be having to to roughly lose about two pounds a week. Um, the way that I've been then working is. Everything that I do that I'm tracking in my watch, which is really in terms of my runs, it's the it's the distance that I've run, uh, keeping an mm. eye on my heart rate because that tells me if I'm kind of using the same device, it tells me if that's improving over time or not. Um, but what I'm not doing then is personally, I'm not looking at that. I'm thinking I've just earned say a thousand calories on that run, and um, therefore rather than have two thousand four hundred calories today, I can have three thousand four hundred calories. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm personally I'm banking that thousand and thinking that's where. That's the benefit of losing weight. Mm-hmm. Um, but but if people use it, I, I take your point. If people are using it to think, right, then that means I can eat an extra thousand calories because I've earned it, and 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 still, yeah. um, net, I'm going to lose two pounds. Uh, yeah, I take your point. That's yeah. exactly where they'll, they'll they'll use it, and they'll they'll track exactly what the what they've um, earned essentially that day. Mm-hmm. And the, I mean, the other thing you basically just said is that that you use it also as a relative tool. Basically, are you improving? Yes. Yeah, I think yeah that's, that, that that's, for me, I'm using the same point. device. I've, I've used various uh, different running apps, but I'm using this consistent device, and I can see if I'm improving or not by doing that. And equally, because I'm using the same device, whether I'm whether it, I'm, I'm reporting a thousand calorie earned one day and six hundred calories the next day, it's all relative. You know, I can see one day whether I've done better than the other or not. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not hard and fast uh, tracking uh, energy expenditure by by way of that what what a consumer device is doing. Mm. The interesting do they thing do about, any of these devices right. say in their small print that it, it's all you know relative and you have to be careful with the results etc etc mm. you know 
Oh, no. Uh, sorry, yes, yeah, the, the, the warnings in the mall. I was looking at the Fitbit one earlier, and, and even on things like step count, it, it warns you that w- exactly where you wear the device, uh, you will get different readings. Um, why do I get extra steps sometimes? Well, if people, um, for instance, have the, the tracker on the wrist and they run, but have a almost a tight arm movement that you know they're not swinging their arms everywhere it will pick it up differently as uh, to if that tracker's i don't know on the on the waistband um so yeah th- there's warnings in most of them that pretty much say um you know th- this is not going to be bang on accurate shit. Well, the, 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 it's not just that though the, the, there was another article because i saw this i was looking to take the mickey out of matcast earlier and i saw that the <laughs> They were saying that none of the none of the bands uh, count your steps accurately and your phone's more accurate. Uh, no, and that was, and yeah, then, that, that was well, kind of my point there. There, mother with that one. I mean, Fitbit, for instance, on their on their site, they say <laughs> with wrist based trackers, if you move your body a lot and not your arms, or vice versa, you will see a slight difference in step count than mm. you would see to a clip based tracker on your torso. And I think yeah. that's exactly the same if you're using um, uh, an Apple Watch on your wrist compared to an iPhone in your pocket. Yeah, but there's also another thing in the, in the in the same article you posted. Fitness trackers may not aid weight loss. Um, it's a link on the same article. <laughs> I, I, I think they loss. do from the point of view of motivation. It actually says uh, opposite. Instead of motivating people to do more exercise over the day, the two-year survey found that devices are actually less effective in encouraging people to lose weight. Interesting. And that's it, uh, that's linked off your article because I, I clicked yeah. on the link. Yeah, but I'm not, to be honest, I'm not surprised. <laughs> that it's exactly what what we talked about that people people see the i mean either the number of steps or the calories and say hey i can eat more and that that counteracts any kind of exercise or any yeah, kind of expenditure agree. that they might have done uh really do, do, do people really use it like that if, if someone's watching the, the calories uh, that closely and think right i've i've done this many calories i can eat x more calories they're keeping a close eye on it. And like you, Counts, they're, they're going to know a little bit more. They're going to realise that the, some of these ratings and some of these readings aren't right. Said the and is, this, is this a mountain out of a molehill? No, because if you look at the way that people respond to stuff, <coughs> guys, there is a... There is a um, you, 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 you can't apply anything that you think to this to what fat people think to this, speaking as a fat boy. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. Because it is, there is a certain element of the fact that, you know, why, you and why are you fat? Why are you a big fat bloke? Because I love beer, because I love eating food, because I don't take enough exercise, and that's the long and the short of it. I'm not in, under any delusions about why I'm a fat bloke. But um, do you want to lose it? It'd be great, don't get me wrong, but... I don't want to. I don't want to live my life denying myself the stuff that I really enjoy. No, absolutely. So, but what I'm saying is, the people that have got this, you know, it, I'm not. I'm not talking about making a, a mountain out of a molehill of being fit or you know wanting to be fit. But those people that are and using them, <laughs> are they are they not doing what cancer's done and you know looking at the results with <laughs> no, you know, think, a little bit of dubious? No, I think at the end of it, it, all, it all comes back to how motivated <laughs> that individual is to to, to, yeah. to get off their backside and do something. So so. So for me, yeah. the Apple Watch was a bit of a motivator in that it showed yeah. me what I wasn't doing previously. Okay, mm-hmm. you, you, you can challenge accuracy on it, uh, yeah. but I know full well before I wasn't getting out and doing it. Now I can see that I am. Yeah, me too. I mean, so. I've, I've recently looked back at my, my history in, in the health app and I can, I can see the increase. I can see the increase in activity. And I mean, I know it from a day-to-day basis. <laughs> Enjoy them, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fascinating discussion. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> I, I think you've got to understand, Gaz, that that there are that the, the, the very few fat, fat people will think the way that I think. I am logical about why I'm fat, and I, I don't want to hold any kind of delusions about why I am. And I'm not mm. bothered about the fact that I am, to a large degree. Other people are, 
they feel a distinct need because they've got family pressures, spouse pressures, particularly for women. Their husband's going, you're an old fat cow unless you're, leaving, unless you're losing some, some weight, I'm going to leave you. And, yeah. and they feel a pressure to lose weight. So then they get something, that, oh, if I get a fitness tracker, that'll help me lose weight. If I take a picture of my food and send it away to an application, that'll help me lose weight. And they get family must around and do that kind of stuff. And then in the end, they think, well, okay, I've burned a thousand calories this morning, so I can have a Mars bar. And I'm no worse off than I was before I started. So mm. I've been good. I don't think that and way. And I don't think that way. I just have the Mars bar and screw everything else. But I, I, I use the withings, the, the one with the self-washing face. Uh, <laughs> and I've cycled about um, 80, 90 miles this week. <laughs> and, he's, he's, and he's drunk through that. And I've drunk during, that, yeah, during, Saturday alone. <laughs> during the match? No, during the match show. Oh, yeah, during the match show. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Saturday was the worst through the rugby. Christ almighty. So, but, but if you net <laughs> benefit there is that, that you probably burnt off everything you drunk. I'm putting on weight, if, though. If, but you're not, if you're not actively looking to, to, to lose it, what's the problem? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just enjoying cycling, actually. I'm just bombing around. Yeah, I, I, I think that's... Yeah, that's a good. That, that's that's, that's how, I mean, that's the best part. If you enjoy it, I think then and then it doesn't matter whether you have a fitness tracker or not. I, yeah. I'm, I'm just basically cycling because I'm enjoying it, and it's yeah. it costs me nothing to do because I bought the bike. Yeah, uh, Magic Man says it's only about ten percent of your food intake that actually increases your weight. All you've got to do is uh, miss the last mouthful. Which, <laughs> that, that's that's, that's kind of not it, but okay. Yeah. But it's true. I mean, if you if you eat. If you eat shed loads of food, the chances are it'll just come out in a huge splat the following day, and you'll only keep an extra tiny bit, which is why your weight gain is very gradual, because it only keeps a little bit of the excess food that you eat. So. Well, I, I have a different theory, and that is that uh, so this the, hole here is much larger than the <laughs> hole down there. <laughs> so Says the nurse. <laughs> um if it was generally of, speaking some of the stuff that comes out wouldn't get out mate which <laughs> should be kind of awkward my daughter used to used to go to the loo when she was I mean she was a toddler she was she was uh, I don't know three years old and she used to go to the loo and she'd say I'm finished yeah, okay I'll come and wipe it so you go to wipe it and you look in the loo and it was something that was like that fucking beer bottle <laughs> like a dog like, that's not physically possible <laughs> that's like an Alsatian's been in and magically disappeared and my daughter's little nuggets are in the bottom underneath it or something and it's not true it's just like holy crap yeah <laughs> It's true. Anyone that's got a toddler will go, yeah, ex absolutely. Yeah. And, and I bet at that point you and you've, you've shouted, Sharon, and went, Sharon, come and look at this. <laughs> you have, I am, that's oh. true. <laughs> Actually, don't Germans have a little shelf so they can look? Yeah, they have, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was working for the army, there was, there was virtually all of the, uh, the barracks had, um, had shelf toilets in, and they were a pain in the arse as well. If you know what I mean, because <laughs> the thing is, if you'd had a good night out with, yeah. with some of the other guys, and then you go into these toilets, and you'd literally, it, it would, it, you'd be like, oh, this is a pinch stop, it really, I suppose. But it, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, it was like, there isn't enough room between the top of the shelf and the bottom of my ass for for all of this to fit. Can, can I ask a question to, to Patrice? You have though? To stand up. What, what? Well, stand up to Ben. So, so there was a, there was a, a group of friends who went away uh, on a, a cycling holiday around um, around Holland, and the youth hostel that they were staying in had shelf toilets, and they they shared an apartment, and um, they had a competition during the whole week to see how high they could get the pile on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> And they were stood on the bowl trying to get this, getting stuff out in the end. And then one of them said something at the end and really pissed off the other three. And he got locked in the bog for an entire day. And it was a stinking hot day. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how many calories he'd have burned. <laughs> trying to claw at the walls to get out, yeah. Uh, um, uh, I can't remember what the story was we just covered, but great. <laughs> 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 Fantastic cabs. It's only good. And so basically, don't buy one of these things if you want to get fit, unless you're disciplined enough, in which case you probably don't need to buy one to get fit. Yeah, I, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disciplined, but for me, it was a motivator because I could see it. it. It was a great motivator for me too. I, 
Yeah. I used a Fitbit to to keep myself on track, and I lost sixty pounds. Yeah. Uh, Gasmas is in there like Flint again, and he's got Facebook users will be given legal right to delete all posts they made as teenagers. Say the Tories. No, that was that. That was, that, made that, us... that was the version that Muller was going to put in. Mine was it. Tory manifesto, twenty seventeen. We can be world leader again in internet regulation and snooping. This is basically talking about the Tory manifesto. We've always known that uh, Mrs. May is uh, a bit hot on this sort of stuff, and uh, I've not been best happy with uh, her attitude to going down here. And she basically wants us to be able to regulate the internet um i think there's an ulterior motive which i think we all really know what the ulterior motive is but she's using the you know we want to check what facebook are doing we're going to allow you to delete old stuff we're going to make sure that the internet's safe for you and your family to go on to but basically they're trying to regulate it so they can tax the damn thing in years to come or hide the that's the the long-term aim i think it's even worse than that to be honest i think it we, we all know that anybody who, if they want to use it from a security angle, it ain't going to work because they'll get around it. They're not going to use something which is being snooped upon. I mean, it's it, it, it just makes me want to spit in <laughs> I, 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 I did have a similar story a few weeks back, so we've discussed it. But, yeah, I'm totally with you on that. It's it's terrible. And, and I think... This the story I was I was link, thinking about was this Facebook story. We just delete your history. Are you going to do that? You uh, can't. You can't because yeah. it, it, we all know that it once it's what, <laughs> this is the first it's thing I told my girls. I said, if you start going on Facebook, you start going on the web. <laughs> what you got to do is just be careful what you post because it's there forever. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you think you delete it; it's there forever because uh, people uh, will capture it. And and, and your and your prospective employers will search. <laughs> they do. Of course I they know, do. I know oh. they do. Some do. Yeah. I know they're definitely I mean, there will, be, there will be legislation and regulation about you can't use that in your decision-making process like there are with diversity and you can't, you know, um, just, but it gets in people's minds. They will see it, you know, so just, just be careful out there. But this regulation is just Mrs. May. Oh, my word. And the problem is she's going to get in with a landslide, which frightens the hell out of me. Uh, well, not not if your last polls, but the the worst case is the fact we end up with the other bloke as well. So it, <laughs> yeah, we've, got, we've got a damned if we do we, and a damned if we don't. We said situation. it. We said it. We said it with the the Trump the Hillary Clinton thing that it's just a choice of STDs really effectively, and, <laughs> and it's it's exactly the same here in the UK at the moment. So it's no different. But the, the problem is, if, if they do get in, they start doing this. There, watch out, rest of the world, because other countries will start to follow and and track it sure. and try and do it as well. Especially if yep. they start getting some income from it as well. oh, oh. Yeah, I mean uh, I, I think it's it's about it's about income and it's also about control I mean trying to control what can and cannot be done and what can and cannot be posted at, at, at a certain level I think uh, I, I don't want to sound alarmist but I think that's where we're heading with uh, this mm, I agree yep. I think um, uh, any 12 year old or so would be listening to the show going wow these guys have no idea Nobody uses Facebook anymore. What are they worried about? <laughs> My employer's yeah. going to look up the four emojis with the happy face and the little sh- happy shit and go, well, we saw what you meant by this. I, I, I think we've got two different generational shifts here. I think Facebook's yeah. time is limited. It will soon be a MySpace. It will repl- be replaced with something else. And I don't worry about the stuff I posted on MySpace. Nobody's ever gone back and looked at it against mm-hmm. me in any way, shape, or form. And I can't even remember what any of it was. So I, I think um, it, it's all tem- temporary. Uh, well, and, and that's where that's why I'm not as worried about the Facebook bit because it, it no, it won't be Facebook. It'll be another application. I'm more concerned also about the fact which I alluded to was it's going to be taxed. That's what they're looking for, and that will change the internet as we know it completely. Might even go away. You know, Nokia coming back out with a three three one zero. Hey, let's all go back to that phone. And carry it and leave it. You can get <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't see it can tax the internet because there's, there's ways around it. There's a dark net and all that. 
Which is too hard. much free Wi-Fi. They are going to mean, try. No, it's yeah, not but it, well, the the point is, though, it's going to change it. It's going to change the the openness that has been there. It'll just completely change it. Now it's a, it's a new environment, and perhaps that's what we should be expecting. It, 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 it's a, it's a way to effect. it's a way to squash free speech, isn't it? That's what the it, yes, it's a new yeah. right wing uh, and well, an extreme oh, right wing. No, no, let's not make it political because that's not. Well, you did. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, I said they were all shit. I don't think that really makes it political. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's the extremes you've got the the extreme left the extreme right and they're all they all want the same thing but just different ends of it which is to squash uh, you know free speech but it needs to be in the middle I don't think it's about squashing free speech I don't know I think it is I think they they want the, the Daily Mail and all those they want you to read their crap and they want you to believe that and to push it down a particular avenue that these same people want and it's the same thing they want to control the internet because that's the only place where you can actually find the truth sometimes they have mm. <laughs> oh, wow. you can find sometimes that. i did say sometimes <laughs> yeah you did you did say sometimes <laughs> i think it's, it's more to do with the fact that there is a fundamental uh, terrorist element of the fact that they want to think they want to think that they will get more effective against terrorism by having backdoors and control of the internet, and they won't. Mm. Um, and I think they also think that there is a or there is an ecclesiastical influence on them going. The internet is rife with porn. Porn is the devil's work, and and that needs to go. And Teresa, don't touch my porn, woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. The, no, she's not going to touch it, Ewan. She's going to tax you on it. No, I don't think she is. No, I don't think so. I think the trouble is, though, is that the people out there, well, they'll, they'll they'll sell it down to the terrorist route and the bullying route, you know, because obviously, and and, and, exactly. and everyone will say, oh, that's a good thing, and they won't, they'll You're forget right. about all you the other know stuff. exactly what's going to happen if she does that, right? People will sit down uh, and with, go, it's a good idea. With a bottle of lube and a glass of, and, and a, <laughs> a good glass of whiskey, and some tissues and whip out the old man and they'll start watching some porn and they'll be thinking Teresa's getting a portion of this and that'll be it it'll just be flat <laughs> oh Jesus he'll be back, he'll be back to less we'll than, be back to semi less than a semi uh, floppy <laughs> I think Teresa's coining off your off, off your uh, off your off your old man that's not okay no surely we pay tax on internet anyway <laughs> it's VAT isn't it it's, it's subject to VAT what wanking subject to that <laughs> No, your internet bill. I I, I pay I pay Virgin. Uh, sorry, that's a. Uh, I Mother, pay. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't declared in thirty five years. Well, you you have to pay a, a, an internet bill, and well, that's got VAT on it. Well, oh, in in what? Europe anyway. Yeah. So. And any service you pay for. So it's already taxed. It's yeah, just, but that's yeah, but it'll be taxed more. Okay. Yeah. Hello. I, no. Hello, Mr. Rankin. Yes, we've got a warrant here for your arrest. You've got undeclared wanking. What's his declared ranking from ranking? Need you to make a deposit right here, Mister. Well, they do a section eighteen search and find your pay. The the Sun headlines would be incredible with my name and a charge of undeclared wanking. (laughs) (laughs) Bastards! Bastards! What's all this? What's all this KY jelly doing here? (laughs) Broadway thinks that the show title should be undeclared waning. Waning. waning is that a gibbous type thing gibbous waning um, oh no she corrected the typo undeclared wanking <laughs> she also said i wish i hadn't googled shelf toilet <laughs> <laughs> i have to, i have to say I, I, what do the germans do on that do they poke through it with a stick <laughs> come on then patrice what do they do <laughs> don't ask me oh <laughs> I'm French. <laughs> no, you do. You, you get a pair of chopsticks out and you sort through it and look for worms. It's because they eat so much potato, uh, pig, pig rather. Okay. The land of the, the, the land of uh, Schwein and Kartoffel. No, the oh, land yeah. of Schwein and Kartoffel is, is very prone to a bit of, of, of extra wriggliness, mate. That is end. true, yeah. A lot of Schwein. Schwein and Kartoffel. Yeah. Yep. I, I think someone installed one of their toilets backwards once. I didn't want to fess up to it, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they've been yeah. doing it that way ever since. It's the new thing. That's true. How did the flush work, though? I mean, does it? Sort of <laughs> <laughs> it it's, not, it's not the flush, it's the effectiveness of the flush you've got to worry about. 
<laughs> well, no, because the thing is, it's, it's like the, the, the jet, whereas like normally a jet pushes it down, on a shelf toilet, the jet pushes it forwards and down into the hole. But you pushes do, it you, off. You do get an awful lot more splashback. And if... if, <laughs> if, if a scraper. <laughs> if there's a bit of, of stickier consistency oh, oh, to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Because of something that's not agreed with you, you can end up with... It's, oh, it, it's like a... It's like a it's like it's like a wave going over coral, mate. It's it's a, there's there's a tube there that you could ride. Wallpaper paste. Someone put a store in the show notes for heaven's sake. <laughs> Shell. <laughs> I mean, I quite didn't know that. It's not a big show. I would be wondering uh, what. Kind boy, of you know, America's not. not so bad after all. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> just great here. Got nothing to complain about. Yeah. Neutrality, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the perspective. This, this is Carrie's manifesto for the next time. Yeah, I, I'm feeling a lot better about the United States now, so thank you for he's that. He's sitting there. He's going, Michelle, we've got to get one of these. These oh. are awesome. That looks great one. outside with a potted plant in it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's next. I know where to get the fertilizer for it. Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Oh, okay. That's going to be a big plant. <laughs> Put your marrow in, mate. That came out wrong. Um, uh, Chaos Computer Clubs break Irish recognition system of the Samsung Galaxy S8. Says Jeff. Yeah. So, so the the S8, which is what uh, uh, about a month old now? Is that right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The Chaos Computer Club they. They took one and decided they wanted to see how difficult it would be to to trick the biometric iris recognition on the device. It turns out it's fracking simple. To, well, so, to describe fracking simple. Okay, take a, a photograph uh, of someone's face, so you have their eye. You can use uh, your camera phone. If you're going to be a little bit farther away, and they said like a just a... Uh, a basic point and shoot digital camera 16 feet away you can still get uh, a perfectly usable shot printed out on a laser printer take an old contact lens and set it on the the iris on the print hold it up to the phone and you're in that seems like quite a lot of work though no it seems like no work at all no if you want to break someone's computer to steal money, it's, no? It, yeah. it's, it's quicker than spending a few hours writing some code to hack. But, yeah. but you've got to you've got to get the person, knock them out, open their eye, take a picture of them. No, 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 no. no. You can do a no I mean, basically, just just you, you picture don't them on Facebook right now. You could like in their enough. face. All right, you so be you're sixteen ne- feet away, snap a, a shot of their of their face, and okay. now you've got everything you need. So, could you do it from a Facebook profile picture? Uh, depending on the resolution of the profile picture, potentially. Well, that's a bit different. Yeah, it's it's like really simple to do, and uh, and and the only reason that they needed the old contact lens is because uh, it it tricked the sensor into sensing depth in the eye. I suppose the, the better the ongoing quality of the cameras, the camera phones that that are coming out, the easier that this is going to get. Yeah, it's yeah. The, you can do this with a camera phone today and and you don't even need to have your own laser printer just go down to uh uh the the local print shop and uh and print out uh, leave, leave, a page. An ev- leave an evidence trail and leave an evidence trail <laughs> yeah so uh so it's it's like stunningly easy to to get into n s eight using the iris recognition which also means that if you're in someone's phone uh, doing this hack, that you have access to their Samsung Pay wallet. So if they set up credit cards, now you can start spending money too. How long till the entry to certain countries when they take a, uh, take a picture of your face do they can start concentrating on the Irish just in case they have to grab your phone off you at some point? <laughs> oh, it wouldn't surprise me if oh, that's, that's already been happening. That's a better point. That is yeah. a better point that... There is loads of iris scanners for a quick entry into countries, yes. Mm-hmm. So we can't just get your phone. Well, you need my mm-hmm. iris to get in. Well, we've already got, already it. got it. We've got, we've got it. it. 
And Theresa May wants all of it. She wants she wants the the the, the, the reverse end iris as well as. <coughs> oh God! <laughs> sit, sit down here, Mr. Regular. Sit on this camera. <laughs> We back to the toilets already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, just, I just love the fact that Carrie sat there going, "No problems like this with my Razor V 3 <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. You're all laughing. Look, this is... there's a Razor V three right there. See? Yeah. That's cool. Track me now, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, um, you can actually. Basically, I can with a radio from Radio Shack. It's that old, mate. Yeah, uh, but I don't know what you're going to do with my iris. Could track you from the uh, cell tower. I don't tower have to. Well. I can listen in on an analog CB radio. And what are you oh. going to get? You're going to get my credit card information. What are you going to get? Nothing. We can, we can get You're you going to get my contacts list. Have you ever Carrie, read? Looks like there's loads of data that's on that cooker. Let alone. Let alone. <laughs> 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 I, I reckon he's more than what's on this phone. I think his cooker's got more computing power in his phone. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Have I'm you not had, eating my phone. Have you ever read your credit card number down the phone to someone when you want to buy tickets for something? Only in a crowded room at high, high volume. <laughs> See? All right. <laughs> Someone's there. What? The- you want my, my... It's one, one... Can you hear me? One, one, four, one. So, so I'm going to talk get about security, paper. and they do the dumbest things that completely yep. bypass. The problem with security isn't the device, it's the person. That's yeah. the weakest yes. link in security. Always has mm-hmm. been. I, I think it always will be. And, and to talk about you know, iris scanners, most people don't even bother. Most people don't even know how to use them. Um, you know, the younger <laughs> generation still- does. And then yeah. when we talk about security, there's, this, there's a whole aspect of the... Uh, just being in IT for as long as I've been in it and the things that I've seen, stories of guys like Kevin Mitnick, social engineering, you know, the constant phone calls, your computer has a virus and then people just voluntarily let them right in. You know, it, it, it's like you could sit there and tell me uh, you, how safe your car is. But here's an idea. Why don't you just be a safer driver? Or you could tell me how good your home security system is. And then someone says they're there from the power company and you just let them right in the door, completely bypassing that entire security I, I think we're not really looking at what the real problem is here with security. It's dumb people. Uh, people, yeah, it's redundant. Simply people. Mm-hmm. I mean, is, is this is there a secondary security to this? Has it got to be the iris? And you could say, right, okay, well, when I put my thumbprint on and you no. get my iris, then I'll let you in. It's just in this case, it's just the iris. So I mean, we had Cam and I had a brief conversation this morning, and um, uh, this is uh, my Apple Watch. And it's got a passcode on it. So when I pull it away from my wrist like this and I put it back on, I get the, the old uh, passcode requirement um, in the top corner. And it says you've got to have your passcode on. But if my phone's nearby and I open it, that's it. I don't need to do it anymore. And Cam said, mm-hmm. well, yeah, but you can, you can bypass that so that you can have to have both. You don't have to have one or the other. And I was like, yeah, I, I get that. But there's a bit of me he's like, that's wrong. That doesn't feel right that I should be able to open my phone and my watch automatically unlocks as well as. That feels less secure. And logically, I know that what I'm thinking is. is illogical, but it feels wrong. And that's I mean, it, a good thing, isn't it? If it feels wrong, that's what Carrie's saying. If it feels yeah. wrong, it is wrong. And that, what I'm saying is, do you, do you carry a wallet? Yeah, I do. Is your identification and your credit card and things of that nature in your wallet? Everything. <laughs> and so, uh, what security do you have in your wallet if it were to be into the wrong hands if you were... I've got no uh, money in my accounts. <laughs> that matter? Well, it does if you want to try and steal off me because I haven't got anything to steal. It doesn't ah, matter. Ah. Now you're onto something. <laughs> and, and, and I suppose that... But going on there, Carrie, there is a different level of security in terms of, okay, the the ID, yeah, granted, that's there. But the, in terms of the cars, the chip and pin security is different in the UK compared you to what's been rolled out in the US. You need to explain, to explain chip and pin to him. He's American, mate. Once, once I have your ID, I can yeah. create whole other accounts, other yeah. credit accounts. I don't need yours anymore. I can go make my own with your name. I can make my own pin. Yep. I don't think we're really yeah. seeing the depth of this. And that's something mm-hmm. you carry unsecured, unencrypted, and unlocked, yep. typically in your back pocket, which could fall out without you being realized that you'd be pickpocketed. Uh, all sorts of things that have gone on since the mankind. And somehow we're acting like this smartphone is... Uh, uh, 
the end all be all to our you, you can security. Def- you can defend against that. You can go to one of these credit check agencies and and, and pay a small amount a month, and they'll let you know. Yeah, no. I, well, you I can do, do that. that with your phone too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they'll tell you if anyone's spending money on your account. That's unusual. I mean, that's isn't isn't this entire story about um, uh, a secondary identification? Uh, uh, look, all about of, all of factor. this is just discouragement from theft. That's all it is. You know, you can put all kinds of things on your car to prevent to discourage somebody from stealing it. Right. Mm-hmm. This is the bottom line. This is more or less the way security works. If you, you know, when we had this wanna cry thing, everybody who got that, in my opinion, deserved it. There was a fix for it, they didn't apply it, they thought they were smarter than the system, yeah, and they yeah. pay the price. Yeah. And I have no sympathy for those folks. It's just like the blaster worm all over again, 20 years, later, 14 years later. Yeah. Uh, you, if you're a thief, and you're looking at around through the parking lot, a car park, you, you see a, 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 a <laughs> car that's not worth much, but with keys in the ignition, and you see a highly desirable car that's locked up and, and doors are locked, windows are up. Which one are you going to steal? You're going to go for the easiest, fastest. The thieves are lazy. So, that's you know, if you're a thieves. public figure or a that's target, the truth. that's that a different. That is absolutely the truth. I've mm. got um, CCTV all around my house because I used to keep my camera gear there. Um, but um, uh, the, 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 everyone that comes to the house is like a, one of the cameras beeps to tell you that it's working. So people are walking down the drive and it goes bip, 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 and they walk to me and go, what the hell's that? Why is that camera beeping? Well, so you know it's filming you. You've got a lot of security here. Yeah. Why? Because I could afford it and I thought it was a good idea. And yeah. you've noticed it, so just tell all your mates, eh? You know, it's... I'm not saying we're never going to get robbed. We, mm. we, we absolutely could get robbed. There's no question of that. Well, you lied either, buggers. But at least we've got a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> For just... I agree. I think there's, there's definitely, and an, you know, the, 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 it's not great that the, the camera can be fooled with one of its security measures. But if that's your only security measure to get into the phone, that was a little bit short-sighted on Samsung's that's part. That's better than nothing. It, that's it's better than nothing. I grant you, but it's yeah. still short-sighted on the part of Samsung to not have a secondary authentication. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd much fun. rather have the iris yeah. and a fingerprint scanner or, or some something that almost replicates the whole two-factor on, uh, authentication type thing. I don't mind what those two things are, but certainly more than one thing. Mm. Um, and. And, and I'd be happier. And, and I don't know. I think Patrice. I think we talked on this show ages ago. I'd rather lo- lose the wallet. Everything can can run through my phone. Um, yeah. I mean, we we've got Apple Pay. I'm not going to rub it in. Um, but um, <laughs> obviously, I can, I can pay for, pay for everything from my phone then, and it's secure. I can have my ID on there. Um, I can have, I can sell my tickets on there. I don't have to carry a, a wallet around. But, yeah. but I want more than one level of authentication in there to protect that. I got into Except- a nasty loop, Sharon. Sharon said, um, uh, where's my phone? I was like, what? She said, I can't find my phone. I might have left it in the supermarket. Oh, what? You dozy tart. Um, <laughs> and she went, I don't, I don't know. I, I think I had it at the checkout, but um, that's okay, fine. So I'll ring it. So I ring her phone. Nothing in the house is going off. Okay, fine. So I pull over the, uh, the laptop and I open up iCloud and I type in her credentials, and I say, what's your password? She tells me the password, I type that in. And then it's like, okay, well, we've enabled two-factor authentication on your account, so um, uh, we've sent a message to your phone. Well, thanks, but that's not helping me find out where my phone is right this minute, because I've lost it. And uh, it wasn't until I scrolled down below the fold, which doesn't exist anymore, I understand that, but I went below the fold and then there was a find my phone thing which didn't need you to go through two-factor authentication to do it. So you could lock it and you could put a passcode on it without having to go through two-factor. But for a second there, it was like, oh, shit, I'm stuffed by two-factor authentication now. (laughs) I can't find the phone. Anyway, she went over to the supermarket and, of course, there it was. Someone handed it in. But luckily, I managed to block it. That's lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good, but it needs fixing. Come on, Samsung. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to ask: Is that going to be any use? Though, so is it, are people going to use this? Is it going to be quick? Well, my my concern is sometimes I I don't look at my phone when I'm picking it up and opening it. This opening your phone by using your eye recognition that it's a completely different 
you know tangent from what we've been talking about but actually i've got to look at my phone to open it oh come on wait till you talk a lot to of someone. people think that's really cool oh uh, wait till you're talking <laughs> to someone and you're going yes mate yeah okay so what's your number hang on a second and you can't hang on <laughs> 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 hang on hang on i've got to get the drops out to dilate your pupil and, and, uh, yeah. Hang on a minute, because it was a bad night last night. Yeah, yeah and you've got the sun reflection <laughs> off your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, just, I like extra controls, but I mean, I had a fingerprint reader on a on a Windows machine. I'm going back probably nearly 20 years. Got to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. And mm-hmm. it was a Toshiba, and you used to swipe your finger across it. Yeah. And when I did it, I set it up, and I did all the scans, and it was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And then you try the other fingers just for the hell of it, and it wouldn't open. And you're like, fantastic, this really works. And then you try the finger you had authorised it with, and it still wouldn't open. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really secure. Yeah, I, never, yeah, I, I didn't open it for secure. three years. Yeah, just... now that's secure, Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem with security. It's designed to keep people out, and that's exactly yeah. what it does. <laughs> 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 you forget the keys to your car. Or... It's, it's the same problem. Uh, I, I don't like the idea of putting all these... Uh, what is the expression is all of my eggs in one basket. That's that's the exact opposite of what I want to do. I, I want to yeah. stash a little bit of everything everywhere. And yeah. uh, that way I always have a, a fallback in case uh, of an unexpected situation. And that's ultimately what it's about. It's like having backups for your data. It's, uh, it's about what happens if I lose my phone? What happens if I drop my phone and it breaks? What happens if, you know, there's all these other possible things what if your phone gets a virus and regardless of what security you've got to keep people out you're in it you've activated the virus and you're now transmitting wirelessly all of your personal information all in one basket that's very convenient for the thieves and on behalf of the thieves i'd like to thank all of you for just uh being sheep and doing and and putting everything together so you could be as lazy as possible let it tell you what to eat let it tell you what to wear it's insane. It's absolutely an insane world that we live in that people seriously discuss this. Sheep uh, I, preying I, I, on I, sheep. I don't get it. Sheep preying on sheep. Well, in a way, yes. I, it, it, the same problems that existed uh, 150, 200 years ago with people selling snake oil and the way people would con people exist exactly the same today. I don't think we're any smarter. We're no more evolved just because of the devices that we use if anything, are, are making it more exploitative for thieves and people looking to take advantage. And I also think it's like a crutch. And I'll give you an example. I used to know people's phone numbers. If I wanted to call my father, I would just call him. But I've got over 100 contacts. I don't know anybody's phone number anymore. I mean, if I lose this, I'm, why haven't you called me? I haven't heard from you. Why couldn't? I lost my phone. You know, it, it becomes like a crutch. A crutch is great when you've broken your leg and you need time for your leg to heal. But if you keep using that crutch over time, your leg will atrophy. And instead of helping you now, it's hindering you. And I think we need to come back to the basics. And I hope future generations, and I'm, I'm pretty certain they will, will go the opposite of their parents and, and do less of this Car- stuff Car- and Car- realize. Carrie, no. Car- Car- seriously. Car- Car- mm-hmm. you, can, you know, you can remember a phone number if you want to, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. your, it, it is your choice it's g- generally the way i remember phone numbers or the way i remember anything is through repetition right so if i were to have it on a piece of paper and dial it by hand and dial it by hand and dial it by hand over time that will drill in through repetition but to sit there and just you know call dad r- through repetition i don't know what his phone number don't is anymore you, of course, you can't open a razor v3 and go call dad and it does it You've got, yeah, you've, you've got to scroll, mate. You've got to go through the front row of contacts to get to it. We regardless, can, we can at regardless. least go, go, hello, uh, uh, Tim. It's still a crutch. It's a crutch that eventually atrophies. And, and that, like I said, it's, 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 it's a complete. So it, I, I think for so a, long. Do you remember when we carried day timers around? I, I had everyone's yeah, phone number written on my day timer because. I couldn't remember anyone's phone number. That's yeah, day timers and and yeah, phone absolutely. Books. And technology I, makes I you know. stupid though. We've said that a lot on this show. Technology yeah. makes you stupid. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. 
No. I, I went. To, I, I was told this I mean, story before, if, and I'll tell it again. If that was the case, then we would. I mean, we would today be. I mean, way stupider than people were we 100, 150, 200 years ago, or we a are. few thousand years Let ago. Let me tell you that we are case. way stupider than people fifteen thousand years ago. When it comes to common sense, when it comes to human nature, when it comes to survival of the fittest, all that's gone. All the things that that uh, evolved our species mm. have been reduced. Uh, diluted and and it, it is, there is insane there, right. and, and, and self <laughs> I went, self I've told this story before but I'll tell it one more time just because it fits the story we we went to see some friends who went on honeymoon and they went to Egypt and Jason came back and his wife said Jason where's the matches for the barbecue and he said they're in the third drawer down next, next to, to the, the petrol yeah next to the cooker <laughs> and she said that all right mate and she went back in and uh, he said, yeah, no, so anyway, Egypt. He said, it was great, it was lovely, but there's no way those people built the pyramids. There's something else going on there because I'm sorry. that They, they just don't come across as, a, as a, an oh. engineering-based nation, if you know what I mean. And I said to him, but technology makes you stupid, mate. And he said, what do you mean? I said, if she can't find the matches, we're going to eat tonight. Well, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a great point. Because it's like starting fire, that is caveman-level ability. And if you can't find the matches, could you start a fire without some sort of artificial ignition? And the majority of the... I'd say everyone in this room probably couldn't. I could. I could. You, could, you, think, you know how to, but could you actually no, physically I've do done it? it? I've done it. No, I've done it, but I did it oh, with the right equipment so that someone provided. We have a room full of yeah, people I've, that I've tried. can actually do it. I've tried and it didn't happen. No. I've got the right stuff to do it, and I'm not sure I could... If you said, right, go now, drop and give me 10, in inverted commas, Go out and find something and start a fire in the next two minutes. I couldn't do it. Not in the. Not in the oh, it took me longer area. than ten minutes. I had to find the kidney first. <laughs> it, it, technology does make you stupid. The more you rely on things to do things for you, the less you rely on doing them yourself. Here's like here's a deep question. If you're stupid, do you know you're stupid? So to sit there and say I'm not, I, I'm smarter than the, the generations before me. Smarter than how would you know man. that? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Is, because we all got a trophy. Yeah, <laughs> this is maybe a discussion for the for the bash. Max show. Are you coming <laughs> to the bash, Gary? <laughs> I would love to, but it's, uh, it's it'd be a very expensive trip for me. Well, actually, no. Now that now that the pound is in the shitter, mate, it'd be nothing. <laughs> sat, it's like two bucks. The, if the pound is nothing, then the dollar is less than nothing. And uh, flights are still like 20, quite expensive. Twenty dollars is like four thousand pounds at the moment. <laughs> I think a flight, a flight to England from LA is around a round trip, around twelve hundred dollars. It's uh, that's like fifty thousand pounds. It's a lot. Jesus. I want to come out there. You know, my sister was just uh, just visited. Did, uh, why did she come? I bought that woman. A, do you know what? Right. I, this is going to upset me now because. I can't get into any football grounds now, thanks to your sister, because I registered with West Ham. I can't buy tickets anywhere else. I can get you some. Yeah, but that's the point, is you have to get them for me. I can't register with any other football club and buy football, not that I want to, but you c I can't buy with any other football, because I bought your sister a sotting shirt from West Ham's online shop. She loves that shirt. And she's been to England and not come and said sorry or thank you. You can go, you can go to Blues or Leeds, because there's a Leeds fan <laughs> Like the, the, the only thing is, so the only thing that I really do have as kind of consolation about it is that the shirt I sent her has got her ex-husband's name on it, not hers. So. <gasps> That's still the name she uses. Oh, she still uses it. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah fair it's not true. You can't get. A, I'm joking, by the way, as well. Uh, you could Harry. get a ticket another place. Harry. You just have to re-register yourself. Yeah, Harry. I did. I did encourage her to go visit you, but you know the time schedule was such. But uh, <laughs> she, she, she had, a, she had nah. an interesting. Interesting visit there. I, I, guess showed, her, I showed her a picture and said, go visit you and she went, f*** that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh. <laughs> you showed her a picture and she went, f*** that. No, that's not what <laughs> not she said, that. though. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, well, I guess they were they were on the tube and a couple of guys that were drunk or high on something were beating the crap out of each other. And oh, right. nobody does anything on the tube. They all just kind of move off to one side and let these guys yeah. beat the crap out of each other. She said it was a very interesting... Uh, observational well, experience if they, if they culturally. weren't involving anyone else what's the problem it's just you know, uh, yeah they were landing on people's laps you know and, and yeah but that's uh, just collateral damage that's not that's not them <laughs> that's not them aggressing is that's it? just what they do 
yeah. <laughs> they're just furniture at that point <laughs> yes guess she didn't come and save me mate um, uh, it's your story Ka- uh, Carrie well given that this is a tech show I'd like to bring it back to a little bit more tech the uh, AMD Ryzen processors have been uh, a lot of talk in the last couple of months since they come out and AMD's new Ryzen 9 Threadripper CPU lineup has finally been leaked with uh, 14 core CPUs and of course Intel's countering with an i9 series of chips things are getting exciting um, just they have a uh, two CPUs with 14 cores and 28 threads the Ryzen 9 1977X in the 1977 base clock 3.5 gigahertz boost clock all the way up to 4.1 uh, three of the uh, Core i9s will be 12 core, 24 thread processors. The 1976 and the 1976X. And uh, finally, they'll have the Ryzen 9 1956 and has a base of uh, 3 gigahertz, 125 watt uh, TDP. And uh, I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, certainly, for somebody who does video editing and such, more cores is better. Um, for people that are gamers, may not see much benefit from Ryzen to Intel, depending on uh, how core focused the application is that you're running. So anyway, it's just interesting. Uh, it's good to see AMD being a serious contender again against Intel and for Intel to finally have some real competition. All the computers I've built in the last five or six years have all been Intel simply because overall they've been, a, in my opinion, in my experience, a better value for the money. Now to see AMD coming back with something competitive. Uh, so there, there's exciting there's, times in my world. There's my question about value for money. I mean, what is the value for money on this based on other offerings? There's no prices. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're they're not, not yet, but, not. you know, it's AMD, so they're going to undercut whatever Intel's doing. That's, you really think that's it? It's just, it's, just a, it's just a done deal that it's underneath. They said that the uh, high-end Ryzen 7 CPUs, like the 1800X, are already well above $400. So you can expect these to be more expensive, but if you're doing more than just gaming, like heavy video editing, more cores could be very enticing. So you may pay a bit more for this AMD processor, but you're going to get a bit more. And generally, if we follow what's been going on in the past, AMD has been undercutting Intel's prices. So whatever Intel wants, AMD will more likely be less, but less cost. Well, um, Carrie, apologies. I'm, I'm, I'm not probably up to speed with what Intel's comparative offering is against these speeds. The i9, I think, from what you're saying. Yeah, the core, the, the Intel Core i9 is a 10 core. Well, they'll have a 10 core. And uh, they'll hit 4.5 gigahertz without any overclocking. And uh, it's a Skylake X CPU, the i9 7900X. And just kind of kind of glancing through some of the information here, I think there's some pricing. Uh, I think they have, yeah, they they'll also have a, a 12 12 core that's 24 cores hyperthreading, just like AMD's offering. What's the? Uh, but I mean, my question with a lot of these these um, uh, graphics cards and CPUs is, what's the likely proliferation in existing equipment? What's your likely ability to upgrade your existing hardware to include this? Because in a lot of cases, you'll find your motherboard doesn't give a stuff over a basic eight core, um, and it, it can't take this kind of stuff. I mean, is, is it's okay to. I love the fact that they do this, and they've got to push the the envelope. That's fine. I totally agree. But you look at hardware manufacturers, and particularly motherboard manufacturers, they're interested in whether they can buy this in, in for twenty dollars. Okay, but even if it, let's say it were compatible, let's say you have a, we'll use the um, the current KB Lake processors as an example. You can use those on older motherboards designed for the Skylake processors, but. With the Z170 chipset, or, the, or just the 170 chipset that was designed uh, for the previous generation, being compatible with the latest generation, you are limiting the, the, the whole reason why you upgrade that processor by keeping it on the older chipset on that motherboard. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to only upgrade half of it. You know what I'm saying? You're still, your limitation then is going to be your motherboard. So why, don't, so, so why then don't AMD and Intel 
make a motherboard chipset with processor included because that would be far more financially viable for them in terms of upgrade costs. They could buy I can't it. answer that question. They could but... make it for cheaper. No, I just I find this is one thing that bothers me about Windows process and I do I, I've made my own Windows computers and I've made a Hackintosh as well and um, the one thing that always puzzles me is the fact that the, the disconnect between motherboard chipsets and processors is well, massive it is huge and it, you end up you buy a processor you plug it into your motherboard and then it's like oh that doesn't work with that or i only get 50 percent of performance with that or you buy the latest motherboard stick your old cpu in it because you don't need to crunch video at that level or something like that and then it says yeah but actually it's not producing at all it won't work it won't function you get a blue screen of death or you end no. up with a reduced um uh, reduced functionality again with it no, I mean, look, first of all, if the chip fits in the socket, it's going to work in the board, whether yeah, that's it's, AMD it's not, or it's Intel. Not optimized. There's not going to be it's not working to an optimized performance of its own performance. No, but but so okay, I it, it, oh, we'll never know. Where you just plug things in and you have no choices and no freedom and you overpay. I can understand where you're coming from. For the PC world, there aren't just one chipset for one CPU. There's several chipsets that meet different needs of the user, whether they're budgetary needs, performance needs. Uh, AMD, I know they've got, I think they've got two chipsets on the Ryzen, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not but an expert on that. But the understanding of optimization is mind-blowingly difficult at times. Depending That's on how much you want to spend. So no. you can reduce a lot of that optimization by spending a lot less. No, but you, In other words, you could you you get a less buy. powerful chipset that has less options for less money that isn't as powerful as the more expensive chipset that has more options. So say, for example, you want to buy an overclockable CPU. So you get the uh, 4970X instead of the 4970. And you pair that with a chipset that doesn't allow overclocking. And you may say, well, what's the point of doing that? Why would I buy an overclockable chip and then pair it with a motherboard that doesn't support overclocking? And the reason you might do that is because perhaps that that chip was only $10 more, but it gave you the the X version or the K version, sorry, the K version of the Intel chips are 10% faster than the non-K versions. So just buying the same chip that's overclockable is already 10% faster out of the box. Furthermore, you might be shopping and see that CPU is on sale and is the same price or less than the non-overclockable version. And you have no interest in overclocking, but you do have an interest in having a chip that's 10% faster right out of the box. So you might not want to pair it with a uh, high-end overclockable chipset. You, you may have a chipset that supports four graphics cards and 16 hard drives, but you have no desire ever to put in, you don't need that many PCI lanes. Forgive me so, for being facetious here, dude, but I'm struggling now to see what you've just explained to me actually simplifies it. So, you failed, I'm sorry, say I failed again. to see how that simplifies the statement that I made, that it is a nightmare to try and work out compatibility. And well, functionality, because you can buy the top end of both, and one bulks the other. One doesn't work with the other. And then you've got the OS that's coming in going, well, you've only got the home edition of Windows or something like that, so I'm afraid you're only going to get 16 gig unless you pay the upgrade to Pro, and then we'll give you the 32 gig. Well, that you doesn't apply anymore. No, no, that I was know, a Windows it 7 but, home thing. It doesn't it, apply in Windows 8 I know, but it, the, you, you throw that into the mix, and it's that's where it really loses me. Well, again, it's, it's about a freedom and it's about choices. Now, if you're not educated to make those choices, then you pay somebody to make those choices for you. This assumption that you should be able to just, like a caveman, go, I want that, uh, and it should all work, then you should go to Apple. No, 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 no. Don't start slanging off Apple and telling me that I'm wrong because I buy that's, Apple I'm not, stuff. It's not a negative or a positive thing, just, it's a factual thing. No, because I'm saying, I, I'm an intelligent bloke, and it's it, sometimes buying PC components is like trying to buy a cell phone plan. It is just to me buying PC components is, is no different than anything else. I live and breathe this stuff. Just because you're intelligent doesn't mean you have an interest in it. You know, if you're if you were naturally interested in it, you'd be eating this stuff up every day like I do. Like, oh, look at this and look at this. Was that it's all very easy to me. Well, was that an insult? It's, it's not an insult. I don't it's, think it's it just, was. No, I think it's. I think it's just saying you're dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I have to go back. You're, not ago, Matt, you're not interested. You're not interested for that Matt level. Show you and you said you were an idiot from uh, from Middle England. So to go from uh, an idiot in Middle England to an intelligent man in two weeks is amazing. To be perfectly honest, I'm with Carrie because I've gone on websites and built computers in the past, and there are places where you can find compatible hardware. 
and it's it's you just got to be careful when you oh, buy. Hey, clearly, them I'm, I'm an idiot from Middle England. No, no, you just buy Max, and it all comes in a little package that you like. I mean, if you want to go out and buy stuff, no, I, I've built I've built PCs. Yeah, and I've built Hackintoshes. And yeah, I've, and I've, and they, I bet you got that list off the internet. Yeah, of course I did. Well, yeah, exactly. You haven't actually gone out and bought a uh, a chip and then thought, what what kind of motherboard do I need for that? Or or bought the motherboard and gone, okay, what chip do I need to buy for that? That's what he's saying, really. He's saying it's, it's really depends on what your needs are. Nobody knows what your needs are but you, and you buy the chipset that matches your needs, whatever yeah. those needs happen to be. Yeah, and if you don't know the difference from one chipset to another... Yeah, I think that's the problem because uh, um, uh, recently there was i3, i4, i5, i7, and now there's i9, obviously. And I th- uh, in the loads of pe- lo- loads I'm, I'm- loads of people. I was pushing towards i3. Uh, i5 is is okay for you know mid range stuff, gaming and stuff. And i7 is for people who want to do video. Uh, I mean, I've got an i7 because I bought it off you, but I don't really need an i7. It's got too many cores and it's uh, far too powerful. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's it's the BMW naming convention. If you uh, have a budget and you want a nicer entry level luxury car, you get the i3. If you somewhere in the middle, you're the i5. And they stole this right from BMW. Now Audi does the same thing with the A3 and the A4 and the A5. And uh, it, this is a, a common paradigm of of what how manufacturers define enthusiast level. From basic entry level and it, it it's up to the individual I, I would never say to somebody I don't know this is what you need we have to sit down and talk for about an hour and a half so I can figure out how are you going to use the computer today what are your plans for using the computer tomorrow do you care about lights do you I mean they've got motherboards now with RGB lighting full control RGB lighting is that a waste of money to you or is that important to you oh, do you want great. something portable <laughs> it's like talking about a car do you want a four-wheel drive, or do you want a minivan, or a pickup truck, or maybe you want an electric car, or a hybrid, or perhaps you want a four-door, or perhaps you want a two-door, or you want a sports car, a convertible? I can't make a recommendation of a vehicle to you without knowing your needs and your budget, and that takes time to learn about you. Or you have to do the research, push the buttons on your keyboard, which is so, so hard, to figure out what's the difference oh, between this and this, you, and pick the you, one that you, is appealing to you. Don't you start mm. on me. Mm. It's easy. I, I haven't had you on for weeks, and now you come on and you just tell me I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm not telling that. you you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm not. Listen, I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. If I said you're an idiot, I'd say you're an idiot. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. I've never said that. I think you're just not very interested in this particular topic to that level. Did it tell you that? No, but, uh, he's, he's a Mac user. Get Get yeah, it, but, it, it, Mac, uh, it comes in a little package. It's got Harry, silver on it and uh, a little badge. But even <laughs> even for the Mac, I mean, there are. I think I think where where he's heading. I mean, there are different kinds of Macs, and I mean, you and has figured out that the Mac, for Mac. example, is is good for his business and things like that. So he has invested time and research and thought about what's the perfect tool yes, for what I have to do. And I think that's the same thing with with hardware and with. With PC hardware, basically. Yeah, but it's not the You're same though. Is it comes in a little package already, already mm. sorted out, or everything's Sh- it's sure. It's not the same as when you build a PC where you've got to do a little bit of work. I, I, the, I, I, I mean, I've built several pieces over the year. I've, I've rebuilt uh, Ewan's, and it, it did take a little bit of research to find the right bits that actually work. Because you can just buy bits and get them together, and they just go like. Is there anything of the computer I sold you that is still left? Mm, yeah, there is a bit, but not much. <laughs> I'll, I'll, Gary, I'll, 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 I'll bring it in and show you. The, these chips are, are they taking the industry forward? Are they? Because all I've I heard lots of numbers from you at, at the start. You know, if this pushes Intel forward, then you know the Mac world's going to benefit anyway because uh, Intel are having to move forward, and that means uh, that those uh, I CPUs I are going to be pushed out to the Macs eventually. I don't but, think. I don't, are these I don't, significant changes? I don't think it's they gonna are. push I don't think he's gonna push the Mac though, is it? The Mac Mac they're going onto their own chipset oh, again. Oh, Muller, can we can we get back to whether these are significant changes or not? Well, <laughs> it may or may not push the Mac forward. Well it's not a Mac show. It's not a Mac show. I agree totally. Well said gas uh, 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 uh Carrie. So so what um, I'm trying to understand is whether this my, is really my, taking my the Mike Crystal Ball hasn't worked in a long time. But I will say that this is progression and evolution of the chip in a in a natural and normal uh, consistent manner that keeps the status quo. 
it's good that AMT has become more competitive against Intel to help uh, light mm-hmm. a fire under Intel's butt to try a little harder and be a little more aggressive in their pricing. And yeah. uh, gives it's good for the marketplace for yeah. there to be a reasonable convince, competitor. They've got to convince yeah, the manufacturer. Competition's though. good. They've got Consumers to convince the manufacturer to install. That, 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 that there, will be, there will be out there. There's people who made um, AMD machines before, so there will be again. So... And, and we're talking about really what's adding is more cores, more cores, more cores. We're running pretty much the same gigahertz we've been running for 10 years. The, yeah. the frequency is pretty much the same. So uh-huh. ideally, that will develop, uh, encourage developers, rather, to make uh, 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 applications that are take advantage of multiple cores, which then means you might, if you want to run some of those applications on your smartphone, that's going to drive demand for smartphones to have more cores to be more There's powerful. There's an awful so, lot of what we do at the moment on computers, which you could have done three years ago, and the current computers aren't doing ten, any ten years ago. No, no. Easily. If you, if you talk oh, about, sure. I, I, let's go back to my realm of video. The computer that I currently have here is fantastic, don't get me wrong, and it, it powers through video. But actually, the, the MacBook Pro I've got, which is three years old, it it does a great job. It's not quite as fast as that, but it's not the end of the world. But you're um, not doing 4K on it either, are you? Yeah, I am. I'm doing 4K oh, really? 1080. Yeah, and it, it's this thing's got six cores. That thing's got the standard i7 in it, and and yes, there's a difference. But if if I had to edit on that compared to editing on this, it does save me some time on some projects a little bit. But it, it, you know, three years ago. You could still have edited quite comfortably on what we currently got at 4K. It wouldn't be yeah, the end of the world. Three years isn't isn't really going that back that far. Most people replace their it's computers about every six oh, I'm years. I'm sorry, mate, but if you talk about Moore's law, it's a long way back. It's no, double, no, it's double, no. double. It's double, double. Toilet We're trouble. talking about the size of the chips, the number of transistors. We're not talking about. Uh, yeah, performance. The, the 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 evolution of programming has not stretched the CPU for the last three yes. years. Yes, that's the problem. I, I, I've got. I would say it hasn't stretched in the last ten years. No, it has. Yeah. It has in the last. Yeah. 10 most years. most not applications last still only use one core or two cores at most. The vast majority, very few, use more than two cores. And so yet, is it most is this going to be, is this gonna be used in AI? Because I, I think that's going to start stretching. Um, stretching AI CPUs. or VR. Isn't it the graphics cards though, that are, are pushing the boundaries now? Well, the graphics cards yeah, well, have been more used. Gaming right? is really driving hardware sales uh, more so than anything right now. There's a lot of talk of VR, but it's nothing really more than a buzzword. There's no killer app. There's no reason to have it except yeah. in very specialty mm-hmm. applications. If and when that happens, uh, I'll change my tune on that. But for right now, it's a great buzzword. Well, VRs, uh, VRs, no, no further on. Uh, than uh, sorry, sorry, did I say AR? I meant AI rather than AR. Well, no, I'm saying VR. You said AI. You well, said AI. You said AI, I said AI but, but both is equally valid, AI or VR. Because at yeah. the moment, I don't see a huge leap forwards in VR from where we... Okay, the graphics have got no. better, but there's no one taking VR into something that's wholly different, apart from HoloLens. And, okay, the, the HoloLens no. stuff is great, but it's you know real things in real people's hands at real prices, yeah. no. then I believe it. The, the, the art is still research, it's development. It's not, it's not done yet. And no, I think it's the graphics cards that are, are, are pushing the boundaries at the moment. I mean, the 1080 is it the 1080 that's the big one at the moment, costing about a thousand pounds. At about, the top yeah, six hundred dollars. Yeah, well, that's the small. There's a, a Titan, which is the like, twelve hundred pounds. Oh, that's the expensive one. Six hundred dollars yeah. is like twenty-five thousand. But, but Nvidia have got one on the back burner that's got twice as many transistors, and you just look at it and go. I mean, they could run the whole computer on that, let alone the graphics. Well, and further, it's the, the, re, the amount of power it requires to run that is about half of its predecessor. That's scary. Didn't that. NVIDIA just do a thing where they, their, their chipset has got like a billion transistors? That's what I was talking so, about, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And you could imagine, run it, you can actually, actually imagine running the whole computer on that, not 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 just <laughs> the uh, the graphics bit. Well, that, didn't, that, the, didn't, the, uh, didn't the US Navy you buy a whole pile of PS4s because the graphics capability was far superior to any of the CPUs that they could buy at the time. No, they the ZX81s. It was not ZX81s. <laughs> <was not. laughs> now then, would you like to own a Spider 5 Express from Datacolor? You can calibrate your screen so that you always know that the colours that you're looking at are 100% accurate. They are absolutely correct. You have a calibrated screen in front of you. And with the Express, it doesn't matter if you've got two monitors because you can calibrate both screens 
using the software that they provide with the Express. Um, this thing is brilliant. I've got one of these. Um, uh, I did say at the Mac show, me and Ian Lewis have been given one each to kind of review and calibrate and, and the screens and, and play with it. Ian's been given the basic one as the amateur, and he's done his review on it, and it's a brilliant review. You should go and watch it on, uh, on British Tech Network. Um, I've been given the elite one for professionals, and I haven't written a review yet because I haven't figured out how to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many features involved in this thing that are just brilliant. Um, they're not used. The, the actual unit that you get is exactly the same, no matter which package you buy. But um, what changes is you upgrade your infrastructure <coughs> package, your, your software package, to get the extra features that go into it. Um, and you know, basic two monitor calibration comes as standard across the whole board. So when you get this, you will get an absolutely just one of these that does the job and it will calibrate as many monitors as you have so there's no problem with that now here's the next question would you like one of these free of charge oh yes i no. I, I don't no, not really it's not used to me <laughs> i'll edit that bit out <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work with your, with your watch, i'm just saying it somebody who, else can who win who it who invites this in you <laughs> i just don't need it <laughs> he bites himself <laughs> yeah. We get someone who sponsors the show, and you go, "Would you like one of these?" And he goes, well, "No, not really." No. <laughs> it's not really aimed at me, is it? <laughs> shut up, then. Just keep the trap shut. I can't go too far. Cause if you got so, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Oh, sorry. Hang, hang, hang on. Let me go back to the picture, and they can edit the burk out. <laughs> there we go. There's the picture. Spider would now. Would you like one for free? Yes, please. Yes, oh please. yeah. <laughs> Well, all you got to do, because for the next three months we're in a competition, um, so this month you will get a brand new Spider 5 Express in your grubby mitts with a full license for the Express software. And you can upgrade it if you want to take it further, it's entirely up to you. All you've got to do is send us an email to britishtechnetwork at gmail.com and answer the simple question, what are the three primary colours on a computer monitor? There you go. It's that easy. So send your answers to britishtechnetwork at gmail.com. What are the three primary colours on a computer monitor? And you might win this month a Spider 5 Express. It could be all yours. Anyone can enter. It's fine. It's, it's silver, space, black and rose gold, to, to right? People. Silver, space, <laughs> black and rose gold. There you go. Patrice has already entered. Jolly good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, now you're sitting there going, well, okay, but what if after a few weeks I don't win this? Well, that's okay, because we're going to do another one next month. And then another one the month after. So you get three chances to win one. How awesome is that? Thank you to Datacolor for sponsoring this competition. It's entirely at their cost, and we haven't paid anything for these things, and we do love them. Thank you very much for supporting British Tech Network. Um, uh, they're wonderful. Awesome. So, there we go. Send us your... Uh, and tweet it out as well. Tweet out that you can win a, uh, a Spider 5 from Datacolor by just answering that simple question. British Tech Network at gmail.com. Uh, we've also got UK2 supporting us. They're awesome. Uh, we love them to bits. We couldn't do our stuff without them. They've been keeping this crap on the air for nine years now, and they're going to keep it on for another nine years because they've extended the server. So there you go. We're going to have to think of things to talk about, fellas. Um, uh, all you've got to do is go to britishtechnetwork.com forward slash sponsors, and you can get all of the great offers that they've got for all of the BTN listeners. And you can clear your basket effectively if you really want to. Um, VPS, VPN, co-location services, domain names, there's, there's everything you could possibly want. And please, please, please tweet out that you love UK2 because they support British tech. That would make a, a world of difference to us and to them and uh, it means uh, a great deal to both of us. And Uniku is coming as well from Hoya. Next month I will be going up to Wrexham and I will be getting my face measured and Mark will be stood there doing the thing that he's doing there. I don't know what he's doing there on the computer, but he's doing something. I think it's step step. Yeah, it's step step. <laughs> and, and Mark will generate a pair of glasses for me that will sit in my. And Uniku is great because it sets the lenses where they need to be for your vision, and then builds the frames around them to fit your face. These really are unique lens, uh, new, un unique frames, custom frames. They're to the point that even your initials are stamped on the inside of them. That's how unique they are. They will fit no one else's face but yours. And, and I'm going to go and get my mind at Wrexham in a few weeks. 
time. And if you want the, the top loaders like Muller has, then that's okay, you can still get those. Go to a Vantec, um, uh, or go into your local Hoyer supplier and say, I want to get these. Or better still, send an email to podcast at hoyer.co.uk. Tell them you heard about them on BTN and where's the nearest supplier, and they'll tell you where to go. And just to be to be clear as well, if you've got a set of frames that you really, really love and you don't want to do without them, then that's fine. Hoyer will help you out as well, as they did with camps. They did. Those, yeah. are, those are Hoyer lenses in Camps' existing frames. Yep. There we go. Jeffrey, next time you need some frames? I know right where Hoyer, to go. Find a Hoyer supplier. And I want you to go, yep, yeah, it worked for me in the US, because it will. If you write to podcast.hoyer.co.uk, they will sort you out with a US supplier for you. Okay. And actually... Awesome. I'll have a word with you afterwards, but you should talk to Mark. I promise you, you should talk to Mark if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, I should talk to Mark. <laughs> talk to Mark. Talk to, talk to Mark. Mark. Talk to Mark. <laughs> Time for the cool thing. Camps, give us a cool thing. Uh, my cool thing this week, one second, just wang the link in the chat room. So, um, sorry, I'm going back to uh, my current obsession of exercise. Um, there we go. Come on, the paste. I'll be there in a second, uh, probably about three times. So uh, my my trusty Bose in ear um, headphones that I've used day in day out for about the last three years um, died this week. Um, I'm I haven't pulled the trigger on the on the AirPods yet, and I'm gonna do, but there's still six week delay. You should. So I went, uh, and, and even at 160 pounds, I'm not sure I want to be using them for, for for running when I'm doing a bit of. Bit of uh, tarmac, a bit of uh, trail running as well. So I plumped for the uh, Plantronics Pat Beat Fit um, Bluetooth uh, earphones. I love these things. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the the sound quality is great out of them. I don't know if you can don't know if you can see them on the camera. There. The the way that the headband works, it's quite a thick uh, rubberized headband. So it doesn't sort of uh, when when they go over the top of your ear and, and and drop onto the back of your neck. The, the wire when you're running a bit of sweat the wire doesn't uh, stick to your neck when you move it doesn't pull and drag from one ear to another um the uh, it, it sort of stands off slightly but it's not the sort of thing that bounces up and down when you run around the controls on your ear are, uh, are great answer calls uh, there's a tiny little um um mic built into built into the side of the um ear uh, pods themselves that, that work really really well um, the the great sixty five pounds came on Prime. I, in fact, no, I got them on Prime now. Um, I ordered them at four thirty one in the afternoon. They arrived at six twenty one in the uh, in the evening, so less than wow. two hours um, wow. on Amazon Prime now, and nothing extra for for delivery within within the two hour period. So well done, Amazon, and yeah, great Excellent. great earbuds. Good set of earbuds. Nicely. What's the what's the 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 time like? Um. About well, eight hours, it reports. Bloody hell, that'll do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, at the moment, I'm running 10K in 52, 53 minutes, so it, it gets me absolutely one, once a week, and, and I'll just bomb and charge at the weekend. Bloody hell, good stuff. Well done, mate. Uh, Carrie, what's your cool thing for us? It's a so T-shirt. I had to dim the lights so I can show this off. No! Oh, oh, <laughs> because you need to have this in your life. That's got more, more computing power in his phone. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's got better reception. <laughs> that is freaking right, if I can. awesome. So obviously, I, I'm not, I don't have you guys on speakers, so it's not going to move when you speak. And I don't know. It, it's not actually moving all the time when I speak, but we can see it. It's going there. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, get us a beat going. (laughs) (laughs) That would be great if we could hear you and would have actually done that. (laughs) So, yeah, I just want to walk around the mall with this on. But it doesn't work unless you're talking. Or or, or take it to the club. Oh, that would be good in a club, wouldn't it? Shoop, 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 shoop. Yeah. Yeah. One of these. <laughs> but it's just red light. Yeah, constantly. it's just constantly have the red. <laughs> Batch me gone in five minutes. <laughs> we need to very a link for this time. There's a link to Amazon. It's just a fun little thing to have. I like that, mate. That's good. Um, uh, how much does it cost? Uh, well, in British pounds, it's about twenty-seven thousand pounds. <laughs> it is, no, it's but it's about it's Too about much. ten dollars American. Four, Fourteen bucks. Yeah, but that's if you that, buy, that's if you buy the the pussy boy sized ones. If you buy the large ones, it only goes up to two x. What's the point of that? 
<laughs> oh, the penalty statue. Yeah, but it's American 2X, so you can put a horse in it. Can you no, de- <laughs> no, I don't believe that for a second, mate. Can you detach the panel, put on any T-shirt? Well, the panel actually is Velcroed on, so you can wash the shirt, and there's a battery pack back here, oh, right. an off switch, and a sensitivity dial to mate, turn up or turn you, down you the just, sensitivity. You just ruined the magic, mate. So you could take it and put That's it on That's what another, I do. That's what I do. So you could put it on another shirt if you wanted to. You just to. lifted up your skirt and ruined the magic. Sorry. Sometimes you and lifting up the skirt enhances the magic. That's cool. I'm going to say that. Sharon Stone. We, we've had a lot of cool things on the show, but that was actually a really cool thing. I, I might like get one in for the well, bash. <laughs> and this is why I got bullied. <laughs> Trust me, Jim. Yeah, but not it, via Instagram. It was totally worth it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. No, no because you, you said that now. I've got to leave that shit in the show rather than edit it out. I was gonna. I've got an edit point and everything. Shit. Now he's got. He got bullied by Telegram. Oh, shut up! <laughs> right. <laughs> well, so I can't believe he wasn't supposed to be on the show. I've put him on out of pity, and he's ruined the entire thing. Yeah, it was a good You're story. Well up until it. No, not no, you. no, you. It was me. Apparently, yeah. he bought me dinner though, so I can't go too far. Uh, Jeffrey, what's your cool thing? Well, since uh, this is the the actual day that Star Wars uh, yeah. premiered. I thought, I'm sorry, we didn't have a Star Wars story. That's, uh, that's all right. I'm going with Star Trek instead. Is, oh! Isn't is, is, is this also Tal Day as well? Uh, it's it's is Tal today Tal Day? Today is Tal Day. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Man. No? All right. Well, then uh, then I should have brought a towel today. Uh, but my, my pick is a Bluetooth microphone speaker for your smartphone. But it's like the ultimate Bluetooth microphone speaker for your for your oh. smartphone because it's a uh, uh, life size Star Trek communicator from from the original series, and does it's, it go? It does all the sounds. Yeah. Okay. They did a they did oh. a phone for and these. You, and when you want to talk into it, you you flip the thing so the lid comes up and, and it uh, pairs with your mm-hmm. phone. It, it, yeah, it pairs with your phone, so you can leave your your smartphone in your pocket, and you can you can use this instead, and and look fracking awesome. And they what they did to make this was they did a three D scan of one of the hero props from the original series, so they could make sure that they got all the dimensions right. And uh, it's it's like crazy awesome. It's a that's it's a hundred and fifty dollars. Which is what seventy thousand pounds. Well, now you say that, but that. actually, that. actually, Gazmaz has found a UK source for the old, um, the old volume meter. There, it's not exactly the same, though. I have to say, and it's only four pound fifty plus one ninety nine delivery. So actually, no, it's not ninety five thousand pounds. <laughs> wow, nice. As originally thought, the, you can get there are STL files to three D print um, uh, the uh, communicator from Star Trek as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, that's very cool. That is really <laughs> awesome. And I noticed as well, you can also get a phaser from season one. Oh. Uh, that's nice too. And you can also get badges that you tap and they go. Bloop. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think they do the next generation com badge thing that, uh, that links to your phone. Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. That's awful. Disgusting. Don't bring that again. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Gaz, what have you got for us, man? Um, well, I'd, I'd like to actually uh, bring what I'm going to put in the, the show notes. Sorry, my light's gone a bit too bright. Let me turn that Sorry. down a bit. Um, but I'd like to wear Carrie's uh, sound-activated uh, uh, LED light while I was using this. Um, it's uh, <laughs> I've just put it in the show notes. I'm waiting for a, a bit of a reaction here because it's not really <laughs> – Tech in this house at the moment has veered to a slightly different area. Well, there's a first, mate, because we've never had a chainsaw record. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what yeah. it was. <laughs> this is an electric chainsaw. <laughs> oh, I've got an electric one, yeah. The crap. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's awesome. It's For the price, absolutely awesome. Obviously, I've moved into a new house and we have a number of trees. And um, I thought, yeah, yeah, time for the toys, boys. And uh, that's the toy that I went out and got, and um, it it does a great job. It cuts brilliantly. Um, I got a stand with it as well. Hey, I really pushed the boat out. I will tell you, and a um, stand this for a chain- to, oh to hold the wood, Scott. Yes, right, I hold okay. the wood, boy. <laughs> I was saying, I, I guess like, used to chainsaw is a bit of a lazy bastard move to start with, <laughs> but getting something else to hold it while you use it's even worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, and this is uh, this is an awesome bit of kit, and um, yet yeah, yes, it's not from the company that I work for, but that's because we don't sell chainsaws. Yeah, there, no. there you go. Um, and, but this is uh, this is their own brand, um, and it's a cracking piece of equipment, to be honest with you, absolutely cracking. So if you if you're in the in the need of a chainsaw, then I can highly recommend this. It's, as long as you've got a long enough lead. That's the thing. You can get sharpness for them, I know, but they're they're almost at the point of being disposable, aren't they? When they go blunt, just buy mm-hmm. another. Well, when well, no, it, yes, but actually, cha- swapping the chain over is really easy, and the chain's only fourteen quid. So, somebody I've I've used an electric one before, and they they stalk too quick. The the the, mo- the motor's not powerful enough. No, they don't. Oh, well, this one, I've got one. And, uh, I've got. I've a, got a, one. I've got the Bosch, the one that's on there, the hundred and forty nine pound one. I've got. Well, yeah. I've got. A, I've got a petrol one and a electric one, and I just found it a little bit going through some f- thick stuff. Would just yeah, but that's where you cu- you cut a V. First. Well, that's well, yeah, but uh, Muller, Muller, I totally agree with you, and that's what I was concerned about. But this thing, it seems to have the torque and the power, and it's got through. Um, it's the torque in it. There's a certain Monty Pythonness here that I'm expecting you to hold up your pulsing leg. It's a flesh I, wound. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to really bring it in the house and start it up in the house. To be honest with you. Well, they're pretty quiet though. If it was petrol, it'd be impressive. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It electric is quite quiet actually, being electric. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But no, it's uh, it's an awesome bit of kit. Go through the desk with it. See, it's good. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, Jeff's had to go. He's on another podcast, of course. <laughs> uh, Patrice, yeah. with with us. What the hell are you wearing, man? Yeah, I got my towel. It's towel, it's towel day. day. So it I is to towel go. day. I was right. And if you've got to ask what yeah. towel day is, then you're not a proper geek. No, oh, he's back. Right. I agree. So, someone is calling in. It's Jeff. He's back. I thought you had to go, mate. Sorry. Oh, no. It's all right. My, uh, I, I got a power surge, and I guess I need to figure out what's up with my uh, with my battery backup, because my router re- rebooted itself. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, Fair yeah. enough. So did your camera, by the looks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Hold on, that's a nice JG. That. Oh, um, uh, oh he's back. There we go. Patrice <laughs> has his towel for towel day. Congratulations, mate. Well done. What yeah. is your cool thing? It is a backpack. What's towel? It's day? a backpack. Um, there's a company in San Francisco called Rickshaw Bags. Uh, I've been a fan of their backpacks for I don't know how long. Uh, ever since Doc introduced me to them, uh, this backpack I'm actually using on a daily basis. Whether I'm uh, I'm just going to the office by car or I'm actually using the bike, which I sometimes do. Uh, this backpack is is really cool. Uh, it's not cheap. It's not the cheapest backpack you can buy, but it's reflective. I don't know whether they still sell those. This was a Kickstarter one um, I once got. But uh, the backpack itself is awesome. I mean, it fits my 15-inch MacBook Air. It fits all the other crap I'm I'm lugging around. It's super comfortable. I mean, I've I've, I've used this for for bike tours and stuff like that for hours and hours, uh, sweating on on my road bike. Um, so it's super comfortable. It's it's I mean, well well made. I've had bags from from rickshaw for four years five years something like that and something like that and they are still going strong so well made made in the u.s um it's just one of the best bags i i own i i use and it only took me two years to get this one but that's that's a separate that's story. a long delivery time yeah <laughs> it's even it's quicker it's, than that mate <laughs> it, it wasn't the company's fault it was my fault I, I sent it to a friend of mine on Hawaii and never picked it up so that was the story okay, okay. is that Doc? <laughs> no, no it wasn't Doc it was Jerry <laughs> oh, right. uh, who didn't bring it back with him at Christmas because he was too pissed <laughs> whoops no. yeah exactly I know that story <laughs> um, uh, uh, Camps what have you got for us mate? I've done mine the, who who uh, oh, that's right! Off. I jumped away from Carrie, didn't I? Uh, who hasn't done this? Just Muller. Yeah, uh, I, I can't get a link for mine, but it's the uh, Instagram.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new Met Office uh, weather app. Um, I don't know if anyone's looked at it, but it got updated about uh, four weeks ago. And if you haven't got the Met Office app, dump all the others. This is the best one. It's uh, a cross between Dark Sky and the BBC app. And that's all I've got to say about it, really. It's brilliant. Have a look at it. It's uh, You can dump all your other apps. Excellent. 
My cool thing is a meat slicer from <laughs> from last week. <laughs> oh, no, okay. From the last three weeks, what an idiot! Look at the show so, so. Um, uh, There we go. Um, uh, where can we get a hold of you, uh, Carrie? Uh, be sure and uh, check out the YouTube channel I do, which shows how to build a computer and how to select the parts. Actually, you'll get more into about how to select the parts. That's actually the the hardest part of building a computer. Right, that's what and I, I show. And I show repairs, and I uh, expose scam artists. That's uh, at my name, www.carryholzman.com. We'll take you right there to my YouTube channel. Thanks, mate. Brilliant. Glad to have you back. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Camps, where are you, mate? Get me at Campion UK on Twitter, uh, Big Show most weeks, um, and in the Slack room. Excellent. Oh, sorry, and oh. the Pocket Show. I should have mentioned the Pocket Show. Yeah, I'm not on this week. Are you still doing it on the 31st? Because I know James can't. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're... I think we're doing it Wednesday. I'll check in with I'll check in with right here. I'll make sure that we we get something in slot to keep people uh, people up to date. The pocket show is back. Make sure you uh, you sign up and uh, go and have a watch that. Re- resubscribe if you like. Um, uh, Jeff, where are you, mate? I'm hanging out over at MacObserver.com and uh, Fresh Brewed Tales. That's where I write about the stuff that I see people do at coffee shops, which is. Thank you, thank you, world full of stupid people for giving me something to write about. And like every podcast, I'm there too. Yeah, definitely. Every single podcast on the internet. If it's not got Jeff on it, it's not worth listening to. There you go. Um, uh, Patri- uh, Gaz, sorry. Uh, go over to Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Gazmaz. Uh, I'm also on the My Mac podcast with Guy Searle every week, mymac.com. Uh, and at the Curry on the 30th of. No. Yeah, I, I didn't realise when Patrice was saying about that. Um, of July. You're going to pass up. Thir- it, no, you said the th- 30th of June, 1st of July. That's right. Yeah, I'm on holiday. Oh, you did. Oh, oh. oh. I know. Oh, when Patrice said it earlier, I thought, oh, my, how am I going to let this out? Oh, no. Yeah, we're going, we're going down the corner on the 30th. Anymore, just say so. All right. <laughs> Sorry? If you just don't love us anymore, just... No, you know I'll come along. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, 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 family. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we moved oh. it away from the British Grand Prix as well. Just for you. I came, I came last year. Yeah, you didn't. You came to the Curry only. You didn't come to the Yeah, day. but I only come to the Curry, yeah. don't I? I said that earlier. No, you didn't <laughs> come to the day as well. Um, uh, Patrice, where are you, mate? Well, every week on the Mac Show um, and the Bash in about a month and everything I do on thepatrice.com. Bash tickets at britishtechnetwork.com forward slash bash tickets if you want to come. It was great last year, really, really good, and it'll be great again this year, no question. And there's bacon and egg sandwiches at my house the following morning, so it's awesome. And there's dinner afterwards as well if you want to stick around. And I'm thinking of... We, so the other week, Sharon and I had nothing to do. Um, the kids were off at parties and stuff like that. So we went on an earth oven cooking course, and we're thinking about buying oh, it, making an, nice. earth, an earth oven in the back garden. Which we could, I mean, this woman cooked everything, all of the food we ate, including the bread at the end, and it was just unreal. It was really, really good. So I'm going to give that a go, perhaps. But we're going to try and get that done before. It needs four weeks to dry out, though, so we've got to do it pretty soon. Uh, and Muller, where are you, mate? Uh, Muller biker at. Uh don't tweet. pick your nose the camera's here looking at you you moron <laughs> look up at the camera look see see there it is look looking at you right monobiker on twitter mostly sitting here getting drunk and um doing a few uh, whatever bit you know uh, uh, carry on moving on okay mate thank you <laughs> one is your ranking get me out your ranking on twitter we'll be back again in two weeks right he's here next week with the big back show so he's going to squish them both together and you're going to have uh, a double helping Pardon of it. the same thing um, uh, but the week after i'll be back and it'll be all fun and games as well as whatever right he does so there you go. and the pocket show should be back next week uh, maybe we'll see i know it's, it's don't how many people can come uh, which i can't so there you go uh, we'll uh, see you soon Thanks for